Let's look at four different ways you can generate key fill graphics for your ATEM production. I'll mostly use H2R Graphics version 2 for this demo, but many of the same principles apply for other graphics software out there. Option 1, let the ATEM do the work. For the most simple method, we can use one input into our ATEM, and with a careful use of black, we can let the ATEM do a lot of the work. I'll open up one output on H2R Graphics, and be sure to set the background color to pure black. This means when I show something, I get a fully colored graphic with a black background. I have my computer displays in extended mode here, and my second HDMI output from my PC is connected to my ATEM Mini Extreme. I'll make this output full screen with Control F, and you can see my graphics on that black background. I can then use my downstream keyer on the ATEM to produce the key. I'll set the key and fill sources to the graphics input coming from my PC. I can adjust the clip value to get rid of just the black parts of the image. Then I can play around with the gain slider to get the final look. One thing to note here is that you'll want to avoid pure black in any of your graphics, otherwise that'll be keyed out as well. Option two, two inputs. With H2R graphics, I can also generate two outputs, one for key and one for fill. This is very similar to the previous method, however I need two HDMI outputs on this computer to get these two windows full screen. Now on the ATEM software control, I'll just change the fill and key source to match the two inputs coming from my PC. From there I can adjust the clip and gain in order to get a nice looking keyed out graphic. Due to syncing issues, it is quite hard to keep these two windows in sync. So it's best to avoid really fast transitions and stick with slow fades and things like that. Or alternatively, you could just show all your graphics and then let the DSK decide whether or not they're shown or hidden. Option three, OBS generating the key fill. Over on Discord, Rob LeFerriere shared a really nice trick on how to use OBS to generate the two HDMI outputs and they're nicely in sync. Here in OBS, I have two scenes, one called key and the other called fill. The fill scene is the browser source from H2R graphics with a transparent background. On the key scene, I've added a filter to change the gamma, contrast, brightness, saturation, and color add, which produces this black and white image. Tweaking the settings here as well allows you to have transparent and semi-transparent things too. From there, I can make both key fill windows full screen using the OBS projector output. The preview output is projected on one and the program output is projected on another. Following the same steps as option two in this video, I can set the fill and key source to be my PC1 and PC2. And then on my ATEM Mini Extreme, I can see a really nice synced version of my key fill graphics. If you're not already in Discord, there is a link below this video and be sure to say thanks to Rob over there. Option four, OBS to deck link. Until now, my most preferred method is to use OBS and a dedicated piece of hardware to create that key fill output. For this, I tend to stick with either the Decklink cards or the Ultra Studio HD Mini device from Blackmagic Design. So we're back in OBS here, and I have one scene with my H2R graphics output open, and it has a transparent background. From here, I can use the Decklink card in my computer to output these key fill graphics. So in this tools Decklink output window, I can set the device, the mode, and the keyer options. Then when I start the output, I now have two SDI connections coming out of my PC with the key fill graphics. Now, since I am using this with the A10 Mini Extreme, I do need to convert the SDI to HDMI, but this is fairly easy with either the SDI to HDMI converters or the bi-directional converters from Blackmagic or other providers. And when that's all connected up, I'm good to go and I'm back in my DSK settings. I can set up my DSK fill and key sources to point to the deck link outputs from my PC into the ATEM. And then I can adjust the clip and gain to get the look that I want. And that's about it. If I missed anything in this video or if any of these methods are not working well for you, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.